Now schools and colleges are known for making restrictions on their students. Now same is the case with their Wi-Fi networks. School and college Wi-Fi networks block on numerous websites which belong to the categories social networking, online dating, torrenting, online video sharing platforms, etc, etc. Sometimes they block some websites which makes no sense to be blocked at all. Now we being students of course like to break the rules. In this video, I'm going to show you how I managed to access blocked websites on my college Wi-Fi. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, before starting this video, I would like to make a quick disclaimer. The main intention of making this video is not to promote any torrent websites on the internet or any illegal services on the internet. I'm making this video just to show you guys what you can do in order to bypass a firewall which might be installed on your Wi-Fi network. Now I guess most of the people watching this video must be knowing about what is meant by a VPN, Virtual Private Network. Now using a VPN is the ideal solution if in case you want to bypass the restrictions on your Wi-Fi network. But, but firewalls are really smart I'm telling you. Because these firewalls which are installed on your school or college Wi-Fi networks block access to the VPNs as well. Which means you will not be able to connect to a VPN because your firewall which is installed to your college or school Wi-Fi network is not allowing you to connect to a VPN. Now I can say that a good firewall blocks access to almost all of the VPNs but there can be one or two exceptions where a firewall might fail to recognize a particular VPN and in that case you will be able to connect to that VPN and bypass restrictions on your Wi-Fi network. But trust me or not, it's not practical to depend on VPNs to bypass restrictions on your college or school Wi-Fi networks. So what do we do? The answer is simple. We create our own VPN. How savage is that? Now uh, I know creating your own VPN might sound a little bit complicated but trust me it's as easy as it gets. Let me show you how you can do that. First off, you need to go to this website getoutline.org. Now, Outline is an application which you can use to create your own VPN with an existing server. However, if you want to know more about what this Outline is, you can read all this information about, about this software on the official website right here. And once you're done reading, just click on Get Outline and simply download the Outline Manager. And as you could see, it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Anyways, I'll be downloading it for my Windows PC. So just click on the download button and the download should start automatically. Now here is how the downloaded file will be looking like. So just double click on it and execute the file. Now once it is installed, you will see a window like this will pop up on your screen. Uh, over here, it says that you need to enter the IP address of your server in order to set up your own VPN. But what if you don't have a server like me? Well, don't worry. This is when cloud computing comes into the play. You can actually create or you can actually rent a cloud server from DigitalOcean and thus you can make your own VPN. To start, just click on create an account. And over here, enter your email address and choose a password. Once you're done entering, click on sign up. And now you're going to get a verification email to your email ID. So just go ahead and verify your email address. Once you've verified your email, you'll, you'll see a page like this which says billing info. Now over here, you need to add your payment option in order to subscribe to DigitalOcean plan. And uh, you'll be charged $5 per month and you'll be given 500 GB to use for each month. Now, initially, if you're doing this for the first time, then you're going to get $10 as bonus into your account. So that means you will not be charged at this moment. So you just need to add a payment option here in order to continue to the next step. You can go ahead, add your credit or debit card details or or even add a PayPal account and then click on save card. Now if you see an error like this, just close the outline manager and open it once again. And then log in into your DigitalOcean account which you have recently created. And over here, select your account and click on authorize application. 
There we go. Over here, you'll be able to see all the available servers. Now, you need to select one server that is geographically closer to your location. Since I am located in India, I'll select Bangalore and then select Setup Outline. So it must take some time for the server to get set up. So all that you need to do is just wait for some time and wait until the server gets ready. So once the server is set up, go back to getoutline.org and this time download the outline client. So you can just scroll down and you will find this download link. Once again, it is available for Linux, Mac, Chrome OS and Windows. I'm going to download it for Windows anyways. So just click on download and download the software. Here is how the downloaded file looks like. So just double click on it and execute it. This is going to install the software on your computer. Once it is installed, you will see a program like this. Over here, you need to insert an access key in order to connect to a server. So go back to your outline manager and over here, select get connected and click on connect this device. And then that's going to give you the access token. Just copy it and come back to your outline client and that's a magic. Your access key is already copied in there. Now just click on add server and that's going to add the server. Now all that you need to do is click on this little connect button over here and that's going to connect you to your outline server which means you're now connected to your own VPN. All right, now let me go to this torrent website cat.am to see if I am able to access it. So there we go, the access is actually granted even though my Wi-Fi network has a firewall installed. Now let's play around a little bit. Let me disconnect from the VPN, my outline server, and let me refresh the page. And there we go, it says the web page is blocked. So that means now I'm able to access the blocked websites by connecting to my own VPN. And my firewall cannot recognize this as a VPN because it is actually a cloud server. So probably a firewall will not block a connection to a cloud server. Well, we hope it won't. So guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below. And what do you think about the audio quality of this video? I've actually purchased a new microphone and let me know how you think the audio quality is. If you think it improved, just comment down below and let me know. Your feedback is very valuable for me. And also do subscribe for more awesome videos if you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit the bell icon and feel free to comment in the comment section below. I'll try to reply to your comments. And thanks for watching once again. Cheers!